Okay, see how this one turns out. It's very colourful. So let's see if we can make it look really nice. Right, I'm just going to go here. wonder how big we're going to make this. Headed straight for the 400 button. Okay. Going to negative positive it. We'll make it negative rather. And then we're just going to go here. And let's see if we can adjust this to look good. Okay, red, hue's being left in the middle this time for a change. Okay, let's see what this is. It is, woohoo! interesting it's a blank card you can make it a birthday card it looks like a birthday card or anything i don't like that one but i like the colors there so we're going to make this really colorful i'm going to just put it on the glass and shuffle it like i normally do okay hopefully that was a really tight twist that'll make it look really good Okay, let's see how this comes out. Whoa, that's really bright, very colourful. And you can see, yeah, the edge looks a bit shitty, the borders. Um, trying to think what's going to make a good centrepiece in this job, whether it's going to be, I think it's going to be here. It's not much of a twist. I wanted more of a twist to the job, so I'm wondering if we're going to do it again. I'm going to try another twist and do a better one. So let's just put it back here again and give it a hard twist. Twist it really good. So let's see, that's got to be a good twist. The colours look good. That's the that's one thing I can say. Whoa, that looks interesting. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be much movement, but it actually looks quite nice. So, yeah, I'm wondering where's our centre going to be. I think that's going to be our centre, maybe. Uh, it's a nice golden colour. Uh, the borders are a bit broad, but apart from that, it still looks quite nice. I'm actually thinking, what's going to make a good border? This is going to be a little bit curly, though. Uh, wondering, maybe there, maybe that little bit of black... Uh, this is a tough one, so I'm just going to quickly play with the buttons, and we're just going to, where are we going to take this? I'm going to do another one, or I'm going to do another one. Okay, we're going to try that again. This is not easy, folks, to get a, look, a good looking twist. It's difficult. It's very hard. I'm just trying my best. Close enough, hopefully. So hard to get it to move with the scan. So now, again, there wasn't much twist in it. Uh, just wondering, fuck, I just don't know what to do with it, folks. Uh, wondering if we're just going to use that as our master copy. And we're just going to return this. We're going to give this away to charity. So I'm just trying to think what we're going to do with this. Uh, so we're going to use this one, I think, even though there's not much angle to it. I was hoping to get more of an angle to the job. I'm actually wondering if I should. I don't know. So I'm thinking it's a tough choice, folks. Um, maybe we'll do this one. Okay, just going to keep it on there. We don't want to lose the settings to, to the dreaded auto clear. So I'm actually thinking maybe there's a bit of a diamond shape happening there. So maybe we could use that as our 
place to make our center piece so we're just going to overlap the edges to get rid of any borders so we're just going to make a small enlargement here so we're just going to go 104 104 okay we didn't bother changing the settings I'm wondering if it's still going to look good doing it simple I just felt that it did so let's see how this comes out off our master copy oh that looks really bright we still got we reversed it back to positive again it's now gone from a negative back to positive it looks quite interesting actually so I'm thinking where's our center going to be it's going to be there Looks like the border's a bit crooked, or maybe it should be all right. It's hard to do things right. It's like hard to know how far to push things. So I'm just wondering. I'm just going to go. I'm wondering what I'm going to do. Fuck, I hate this. So I'm wondering if we're going to switch this off. And maybe make the enlargement on the vertical. A little bit higher so make it 105 okay so what else have we got to do I've got a feeling I just feel I've got to move myself to a different place it's just annoying the shit out of me trying to work out how far to go I wish these demos could be a bit easier <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I wish it wasn't so hard trying to get a good result, but that's just it. it. It happens, it's that way. But that looks a lot better now, and I can see there's no long... The border looks a bit more... It doesn't look much different, actually. This is the positive, and that's the ne back to negative again. So now we're just going to remove that, and we're going to start assembling our mirror image. So now we're just going to happen here I'm still not happy with the master copy it doesn't have enough angle uh, I haven't got much paper left I've got, I did put a large wad of paper in but if it runs out I'm going to be out because I didn't I have I had to go to office works and get some more paper so I have to go there and pick up another ream tomorrow so that's a real nuisance having to do that <laughs> oh, oh. But at least I just have a, I have enough to do today's uh, set of demos. So I'm just going to quickly run over to the mirror image. This might turn out better than I thought, actually. We'll soon find out. Sometimes I have real doubts, and maybe the doubts I have are often unfounded. But these are some pretty large demos we're making of late doing these mirror images so let's see how this looks okay that's that piece and now we've got this piece sliding into place. Let's try and straighten it up, not push it too far in. Okay, I think that's good enough. It's a bit curly, but here we go. There's our party. You can just see it's not quite a diamond, but it looks a little bit like an elongated diamond. It's a very subtle sort of a mirror image compared with some of them. So I think now we can call it quits 